In today's video, we'll dive in into the mid-journey prompts and mainly it's the permutation prompts. Permutation prompts allow you to generate multiple prompts from just one imagined command. A normal prompt might look something like a cat playing with a string and with an aspect ratio of whatever you want to pull. In this case, I've just pulled a 16 by 9. This single imagined command will generate one prompt for your images, but if we can make a few changes, then the game changes. So let's take the prompt again. We have a cat playing with a string. We'll add a curly bracket just before the cat and we'll add the word dog and close the bracket. We'll also add another curly bracket just before the the string and the word toy next to it and then we'll close the bracket and what happens is this single imagine command generates four prompts allowing us to generate more images quicker and basically this is what permutation prompts are in this video we'll explore different ways that you can use the permutation prompts in your mid journey workflow this could be anything from a basic permutation to a nested permutation and anything in between all right guys let's get down to the basics a basic permutation prompt can be something like a street photography of a, and then we'll have a curly brackets man comma woman comma boy comma girl and then we'll close the bracket any text outside the bracket is a base prompt and this is the thing that never changes and remains constant in all the prompts and in this case that's street photography any text inside the curly bracket is an option this is the thing that changes in all the prompts depending on your option list in this case we have a man a woman a boy and a girl and this is what will be different in all the prompts i'll run this prompt on me journey and then click on show prompts as you can see now we have four prompts street photography of a man street photography of a woman street photography of a boy street photography of a girl and and as you can see we have the four prompts that have generated the images that you've just seen we can take this prompt again play with it just a little bit and change our images completely and then the only thing that we're going to add into this is wearing yellow run this on me journey click on show prompts as you can see we have the four prompts click on yes and let me journey generate the images for us now we have street photography of a man wearing yellow street photography of a woman wearing yellow that's the same for the boy and for the girl the base prompts are consistent in all the images the only changes that we have is in the subjects that we added on to our option list. Another way to use permutation prompts is if you want to experiment with different parameters in any of your prompts. The rule here is the same. All you need to do is to add a permutation option at the end of each or any of your prompts that you're generating. For aspect ratio, the format is curly bracket and then dash dash space 16 by 9 comma dash dash a r space 3 by 2 comma dash dash a r one by one close the bracket and so on for the chaos parameter the format for the permutation prompt is still the same so it's curly bracket dash dash chaos zero comma dash dash chaos 50 comma dash dash chaos 100 comma you get the point you can add any value between zero to a thousand for the stylization parameters permutation prompts still follow the same concept again curly bracket dash dash s hundred comma dash dash s five hundred comma dash dash one thousand close the bracket for the value number you can use anything that you prefer as long as it's a number between zero to a thousand if you're looking to create some unique images the weird parameter is no different when it comes to permutation prompts you can use any value between 0 to 3000 and all you have to add on your prompt is curly brackets dash dash weird 100 comma weird 500 comma weird 3000 I guess it's whatever you prefer if you want to generate images using the same prompt but you want them generated using different versions of me journey you can use permutation prompts for this all you have to do is just add the command so it's curly bracket dash dash v space three comma dash dash v space four comma dash dash v space 5.2 and for style row my favorite is dash dash style space row and then you'd close the bracket permutation prompts allow you to include different categories of option in one single prompt for example we could have a prompt like a cut wearing and then we'll have curly bracket so this is the bracketed option in here we'll put in fitted suit and identity 
rename our fit. This is our first category option of the brackets. And basically what this is, it's like saying we want to have a cat wearing a fitted suit and a cat wearing a denim outfit. We could go on and add another base prompt, which is walking, and then we'll add our second bracketed option, which we can include a location, we could say walking in a desert, and then we'll put a comma, and then we'll have another one as on the snow, and then we'll close the bracket. So this is our second bracketed option. And from that, we can add one last base prompt, which is on a sunny day. So basically what we have from this prompt a cat wearing fitted suit walking in the desert on a sunny day a cat wearing fitted suit walking on snow in a sunny day a cat wearing a denim outfit walking in the desert on a sunny day and a cat wearing denim outfit walking on snow on a sunny day it's also possible to nest sets of brackets options in a single prompt it's like having options inside options let's say we have our curly brackets and then we'll add the at types which are the sculpture and the painting close the bracket and then off we'll do the subject and the location so we'll have curly bracket lion and then we'll have another curly bracket inside this curly bracket which is the nest and then here this is where we're gonna add uh, our first set of location which is in the wild comma in the zoo close the nest we'll add a comma space and then we'll add the second subject which is a tiger and the second set of the location so it's tiger in a house comma on a street and then we'll end by closing the prompt with not one but two curly brackets one single imagine command like this can give you up to eight prompts it's like saying you want a sculpture of a lion in the wild and you want a sculpture of a lion in the zoo and you want a sculpture of a tiger in the house and a sculpture of a tiger on the streets and at the same time if you move to the next type of art then you want a painting of a lion in the wild a painting of a lion in the zoo a painting of a tiger in the house and a painting of a tiger on the street these are just a few ways that you can use permutation prompts in your mid journey workflow i can understand how some might think this is complicated but i guess it is an advanced prompting in mid journey it works like a formula so once you understand the formula you can implement it in any of your prompts all right guys so that's that thank you for watching this video i hope you have found it helpful if you liked it please don't forget to hit that like button subscribe if you want to see more videos of this nature my name is abigail you've been watching AI art explorer.